Hey guys, um, it's me, Samuel, coming at you with, well, I hope, what will be a quick video, but, uh, you know how I am with these things, you know, but, um, yeah, um, just kind of wanting to talk to you guys, uh, quickly about, well, two things, things, first being the, what's sort of going on with YouTube right now, um, if you hadn't already heard, um, YouTube and a lot of other places on the internet um, are coming under what's called Article 13. Uh, it's basically this um, section of law or legislation brought on, on by the European Union that will... But, Sorry, that's my sister. Anyways, basically, it well, it's sort of designed to. Well, Article Thirteen is basically designed to it's designed and to try and protect copyrighted material or from getting stolen. Um, however, the doubt. Right, uh, while I can get behind that, it does mean that. Right, well, the legislation sort of states that it can be used to, well, basically they say, well, basically erase videos that have copyright content on them. As you know, uh, with, like, certain um, videos of at least mine, for instance, Doctor Who animations, um, they use music that was from the show, which would be, well, which would mean that if Article 13 was released, but well, well, not released, more like put into action, then, um, it's sort of going to screw around with that. Now, I mean, the European Parliament has already okayed it, but it isn't too well it's going to take two years for it to come into effect and well with the whole brexit thing and i do apologize for being political oh in these videos i like to kind of put well i do strive for a, a politically neutral zone with youtube to prevent you know but in effect but in an attempt to try and get but make my viewers feel like they can express views here safely if they want to. Basically, though, um, you, oh, uh, other people on the internet have been in about, well, have gone about out this whole Article Thirteen thing, and they do think that maybe it deserves a little bit of, um, you know, reworking. I've, but. Well, Honestly, in my opinion, so what well, if the creators of said copyright material have been that well, are mentioned somehow in the video, say in the end credit scene, or maybe from other places, then well, or you know, and you have that that well, disclaimer maybe at the beginning. Thing, such as with Team Four Stars and Team Unlimited's videos, they usually do uh, the following as a non-profit fan-based parody. E such and such is owned by these people. Oh, please support the official release. It's just an example. If that's well, I think that might be a lot fairer than just having people what well, rather than just you know videos are just getting taken down for just ha having a certain bit of copyright content on it. For example, I mean, a, a couple of people I know who are subscribed to my channel, and I hope you're watching, you know, um, they, well, a couple of people I know do cover videos, and, you know, or game, game walkthroughs, or, you know, um, a couple of people I subscribe to, well, I am subscribed to, 
do animations and and I mean I want to go on the internet and believe and you know take comfort in the fact that they are on on a better whether they can you know b uh, upload content with you know out the fear that it will be taken down before it's even uploaded you know because uh, I mean just because it might be based on someone else's work doesn't mean that it's a out where it's outright plagiarism um, I mean that's how parodies is of beloved shows and you know those come about I mean if we take a look look at you know the history of certain things like for well, for it well I mean all well, all the great franchises have parodies is I mean Star Wars has space balls James Bond has Austin Powers I mean you know well Star Trek has the Orville I mean so I think maybe but well, we, but well, I think the European Parliament should take a look at their Article 13, and you know, at least put in a section where, but that it, but where, you know, it says that we, where that you know, people have a right to upload content from franchises that they like, but also, but, well, and you know, so long as they acknowledge the original creators they can do that and not you know just go but go sh but just straight up say oh this is my own you know totally mine give me all your money and stuff but I mean that's just what I think obviously you guys might have an entirely different opinion which is okay you know don't get but okay I just I'm just expressing my opinion and I'm sure a couple of you might agree with me but this video is more or less to just spread the word okay and that's what I want you guys to do spread at the word about article 13 learn but get as much information as you can about it uh, make a video like I'm doing now try what well, well, and make a difference guys because you know democracy is power to the people or at least you know that's what the original Greek word meant, you know, rule of the people. Okay, so, do that. Um, second thing was, well, Doctor Who is 55 years old, oh, at the time of this recording, anyways. Yeah, I mean, 55 years of time and space. Hope there's more where that come, where there's more to come, you know? I mean, we're currently in the middle of series 11, um, you know, Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I think, but, um, yeah, I think she does really good as the Doctor. She has had a couple, but, I mean, obviously, she's not per, well, I mean, no. The series that she has, but that, but she, that's she, where that is currently going, it's had, had its, you know, ups and downs, um, obviously, you know, well, um, actually I was talking about, out, out with, um, Andrew, um, my friend, I uh, hope you're watching, he says that, um, well, one of his problems is, like, you know, too many e companions and not enough stuff for them to do, which I think is pretty alright, but I think that's an okay a criticism. Um, I think me, well, I think it's probably because um, Doctor Who ha isn't that used to having that many companions at, in the TARDIS all at once. But, I mean... I mean, if we take a look at the last time that has that that the doctors had more than two companions in the TARDIS. Oh, I mean, 
I'd say, well, I think we might be going back to the fifth Doctor era uh, about now. Um, uh, I mean, yes, there was the Soul and Earth and Journey Zen, but I mean, that was more of a crossover. Uh, like um, those ones to CW, you do with the Arrowverse, which, you know, look really looking forward to Elseworlds, by the way. Batwoman, that's, that's going to be looking pretty cool. And actually, yeah, I've been watching, um, well, I've been watching at least Arrow, Supergirl, and The Flash. Haven't actually been watching that much DC's Legends of Tomorrow, which... It, if you think about it, it's not really... I mean, I like Legends, and, you know, I will what get around to watching it. I have it all recorded, so that's cool. But, yeah, I mean, it's weird, man. But, um... Yeah, I've been watching Arrow and The Flash and Supergirl. Flash and Arrow, I'm... I still need to watch all of Season 4 and Season 6, but I can't... Well, I know what happens in the end... And I'm not going to spoil it, because I know some people will still need, well, need to watch it, and I know how some people are spoilophobes. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, but, yeah, back to the whole Doctor Who thing. And, yeah, um, I mean, I think, well, I mean, I know this is Chibnall's first series and everything, and... Actually, I think he's doing pretty good on it, actually. You know? I mean... We've got... But, I mean, we've had some really good episodes, I think. Um, for instance, you know, I mean, I... I liked Rosa. I liked Arachnids in the UK. Okay? And, you know, I've also... I like Demons of the Punjab and... Kablam. I mean, those have been some really good episodes. Um, the the Ghost Monument and the Sanungra Conundrum. I think that's how you say it. Um, I don't know. Someone correct me on that one if I'm not up. But, um, I mean, those episodes... I mean, they were alright, but they, they didn't really get the blood pumping, as it were. You know? But, you know, um, that, that's just, I mean, they just, I think, well, but, but, yeah. That's, well, it was, but, but yeah, overall it's pretty, but it's going good, I think. Oh, and another thing, um, so, this is also Doctor Who, um, so, we're not getting a Christmas special this year, we're getting a New Year's special this year, which, basic, but, well, apparently the producers at Doctor Who ran out of ideas for Christmas-themed episodes, so they're gonna do a New Year's, at least this year, they're gonna do a New Year's episode, uh, which will broadcast on New Year's Day, which we haven't, but something that hasn't happened since the end of Time Part 2 in 2010. Which, you know, is pretty cool, actually. I mean, just means that I won't be having to fight over my family over the TV. Actually, come to think of it, I just watched the episode here in my room and just hope that, you know, the power doesn't cut out. Because that did actually happen, like, a few times, like, anyways. Uh, the Return of Doctor Mysterio was definitely uh, a power cutty episode. Really need to rewatch. Well, maybe I should rewatch that uh, so I can get better context. But meh, it's all right. Anyway, but, and um, God, I really need to get this chair fixed. <laughs> Anyways, um, and despite rumors that we might not be getting another series until 2020. We have got confirmation that Series 12 entered production, um, I think, this week or last week, and it will be airing in the autumn of 2019. So don't worry, guys. We're not... Uh, we're not, you know, gonna go... But we're not gonna skip out on a year of Doctor Who like we did... Well... 
I mean, we're not going to have another 2016, but in reverse. But... Yes. What I mean by that is that we only got one Doctor Who episode that year. Granted, we did get class, but... Um, I'll be honest, as that series started out kind of blank. I mean, not... But... Don't want to offend any, but well, I don't want to offend Patrick Ness, but the characters just seemed a little bit bland. Anyway, it's, well, I mean, it, it got good towards the end, but obviously, I guess m not many people really watched it after that. Anyways, um, but hey, at least Big Finish, you know, picked up the slack. Uh, although, come to think of it, I really would have liked to see that Dalek. In Cole Hill School. If you guys watch Remembrance of the Daleks, you'll know what I mean. And Anise was going to be in it. But would, but Anise would be in it if that was on TV, so, you yeah, know, that would have been nice. But, eh, that's all in the past. Anyways, um, so, yeah, we will get Series 12 in 2019. Uh, but that's as far as my information goes about it. But, yeah, don't worry, guys. Um, oh, also, news about Doctor Who, uh, we'll be getting an animated release of The Wheel in Space in 2019. So, that's another episode to go alongside such greats as, uh, The Reign of Terror, The Tenth Planet, The Power of the Daleks. <coughs> um, I think, I think The Web of Fear got an animated episode as well. I think they have an animated episode three. Um, yeah. And, uh, sorry. Um, yeah. But I'm really looking forward to when, and, well, if, and, well, let's be honest, when the BBC decide to release Evil of the Daleks. Because, you know, that's cool. I mean, it would, I mean, if they did that, then... Well, I mean, barring the Daleks' master plan and the mission to the unknown, we would have literally all the Dalek stories of the classic era, which uh, that's a bit of, well, that's a big dream of mine, you know. <coughs> Anyways, um, mustache got some Doctor Who to watch, so bye bye. Alonzi.